How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Sun. In the last episode, we got to Paniola Ranch and got ourselves an egg, which you'll notice is now on the screen because some of you guys expressed some interest in having this egg hatch. For people who don't know, why not just, you know, come along for the ride? It, it actually takes a little longer to hatch than most Pokemon eggs, to my understanding. I don't know if that's true. And, um, yeah, come along for the ride and enjoy the surprise of not knowing what the Pokemon is. And if you do know what the Pokemon is, well, then start thinking about what it might end up being, I guess. But this old dude wants to... Was there a thing over here? Oh, I thought I saw a Zygarde thing over there. But anyway, this old guy is pacing back and forth. We'll see how intense this guy is compared... Have a look at my kids? Okay, we'll see how intense this guy compares to the Carbink lady from the last episode. He's like, yeah, 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 look at my kids, I'm Gentleman Gerald. Hey, my kids, I've got one Pokemon, and it's a demon ghost from another dimension that Dust Noir likes to fight, you know? Look at my children. What a guy. Man, we really need Pichu to evolve. I'm really wanting Pikachu. I'm really feeling it. I want Melee to evolve, man. Oh my god, I'm gonna evolve soon. Oh my gosh. Oh god, is Melee a Kardashian? This is not okay. I'm not a Kardashian, oh my gosh. Why do you have to be like that? Oh my gosh, she's a Kardashian. I don't know if I can deal with this. Stop killing Melee. Wow, uh, that was pretty freaking brutal. Man, this, I, Pichu is, whoa. Okay, well, you, you, that's what I get for using the Kardashian voice with Melee. Okay, well, anyway. Um, that was, ins that was pretty wild. I'm gonna go ahead and send him out, Hedge, now. Our Lady Hedge, uh, because, uh, Sableye, well, we do have Rock Throw now, and uh, I guess I could've used anything, really, and this is, uh, Sableye is, what is he weak to? Just oh, I thought he's, I thought that said Destruct, and I was like, what? He's gonna blow himself up, like, self-destruct, but just said Destruct? I was like, huh? That's so weird. Uh, you gotta be barking mad! Oh, Hedge. Oh, Hedge and your doggy puns. I like that uh, that people suggested that, and it was like, did I really miss every time? I like that people suggested that Hedge should have doggy puns, like pup, like dog puns. Uh, and yes, enjoy your paralysis. How the heck did Pichu die to this Sableye? What is with, what is with these trainers on this route? We had the girl, the lady, and full restore? Dude, that's like Pokemon League level stuff. Why do you have, you can't even get full restores this early on. Who is this guy? Who is this man? I'm gonna use Howl. He's probably gonna- oh, I was gonna say, he's probably gonna go for Detect, but he's not, so I can sharply raise my attack, and you can stop doing that. Between you and the car bank woman, this is insane. Alright, let's hope that we get like a crit and we just wipe this thing out with Rock Throw. Come on, Hedge. Come on, Hedge. Do something- okay, that's- no, not this again! You better not hit me five times or I'm, or I'm exactly dead. No. No! Are you kidding me? No! No! Five times! What? No! I I had ten health and you hit me for two every time! What is this? Oh my god! This is unreal! These guys on this route need to chill the frig out! Holy crap! Brick break that- Oh right, it doesn't affect him! Why was I so stupid? He's a ghost ch I don't look at- God dang it, I don't ever look at- Sableye and expect him to be ghost is the problem Because I I look at him and I'm like yeah dark, but I know he's dual type But it's like I just auto it just automatically goes into my head that he's just stop being stupid Sableye This old guy needs to chill the frick out and you're not licking the Sableye What is the deal with that? What was that they hit it had did it have to hit all five times? Did it have to do that man? That's what I get for opening an episode doing a Kardashian impression. I guess there goes the levels that Pichu could have probably gotten, and there lowers their, their happiness a little bit. Because you faint, you lose some happiness. Gosh dang, dude. How many revives do I- Okay, five. I was gonna say, how many revives do I even have? Holy crap, what is the freaking deal with that? This route needs to chill out. Like, it needs to just chill. Take a back seat. Let, let, let me just not die all the freaking time, because... The Carbink Lady, I think I off-screened it. I, th I don't know if you still need your- I think that might have been a rumor back then? I think it helps, though. It helps me. Um, what do you have to say? You'll find Brooklyn Hill at the end of Route 5. Yes, Captain Lana in Brooklyn Hill. Which actually might prove to be more of a difficult, uh, more of a difficult challenge for us. Uh, my particular duty is to test just how strong- Yeah, so if we beat all the trainers on Route 5, we can beat the Route 5 Kahuna. Not really, but, um, there is a guy- 
or a lady or something on one of the later routes and she refers to herself as the root whatever kahuna and it's funny because it's like oh yeah i guess that's that's what i would probably do all right so let's see what these preschool twins have one's probably gonna have palkia because the last time i fought preschool twins was in pokemon white randomizer nuzlocke and they had palkia so i'm sure there was another time but one has Igglybuff, Punk, I'm going to eliminate you and make you sad. Oh, thank God, we've got a steel move on Melee. Oh, man, it's nice to have a good fairy beater now. Oh, yeah, Melee, get him. Yes, that would have done wonders. If somebody commented, that would have done wonders against the Carbink from last time. Oh, my gosh, there's both about to... No, that's stupid. You don't need to sweet kiss my hedge. He doesn't need, she doesn't need to be kissed sweetly because she will r toss rocks down on your little egg head. All right, Thundershock. You know, I could sweet kiss that happening. That would have been interesting. Don't hit yourself, please, Hedge. Don't do it. <sighs> I'm going to be in for a rough time. Apparently you are rough. I get it. Oh, my God. Why did that do, like, zero damage? All right, come on. This thing, well, I guess Happenies and all of them are pretty tanky regardless, but I would... I just wanted to even, like, get to Brooklyn Hill in this episode, but all I'm doing is beating myself up! What is with the luck this time? What is this gonna do, like, nothing? Oh my gosh! Stop being... Oh, who knows what... Who knows what this happened? It's probably ground. Watch it be ground. Oh no, it's not. I was gonna say, watch it be ground just obliterate me. I'll see you guys at the end of this fight. This is gonna take forever. Okay, we beat them! Yay! It was great! Well, not really. I don't know if I'd consider that great, but we beat them! Um, so anyway, around here, I actually want to go ahead and throw a Repel up because there's not a lot of Pokemon that we want to fight in this area. Um, I think we're, we're still dealing with Lillipups around here, to my understanding, to my recollection. Apparently, I'm still not a high enough level. Holy crap. Yep, more Lillipups. What level do you need to be? Hedge is already, like, 16, which is not, like, really low. Oh, 16 apparently is where is what it's too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put beans out in front. You know, you know what you should do is put beans out in front. You know, beans is the beans is an out in front kind of guy. You know, he he's awesome. He puts himself out there. You know, he's the best. Yeah, beans. You know, you do prove you do show that you're a significant level above everybody else. And what is the? How do you, I was gonna say? How do you get up here? Because I know there's items over here. I don't know if there's a Zygarde thing up here. Um, I also don't know if I'm gonna 100% find all of the Zygarde things in this in this LP. It might be more of a post-game thing because I don't even know where they all are uh, normally, and I've beaten the main story in. Uh, oh, what's up, guys? In uh, Poke. Uh, no, I don't need to use one right now. I've beaten the main story in uh, Pokemon Moon. What's up, Team Skull? Doing squats really uses all your muscles. My legs are shaking so hard I can't move. I'm not doing a Lola Sumo. I'm not. I'm definitely not trying to be like Kahuna Hala. Well, it looks like Team Skull is blocking that way, and let's see. Ugh, oh, she saw us when she turned. <sighs> Isn't it weird how they can, like, turn to see you now? And, like, it's not all about them actually running into you. And, oh, hey! Looks like we met up with Hal. He's like, hey! <laughs> man, I lost again. Are you even taking this seriously? I am so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? Huh. <laughs> you can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it. Which clearly you haven't. Whoa, hey Tommy! This guy is plenty scary. Plenty, P-L-E-N-N-Y, that's amazing. You're Tommy? Um, who? <laughs> I'll just screw with him. Hmm, so you have enough sense to be wary. Not bad. I'm Gladion. I battle for my partner, Null, to make it strong. Though most of our time gets used up during small jobs for Team Skull. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Well, alright, Hot Topic Magoo. I guess we're gonna be battling you. Man, Pokemon does love to throw those characters in, don't they? Well, I guess just anime in general. This guy, look at him, he's as Sasuke as it gets! But with blonde hair, he's like, look at how many hours does, does, does Gladion have to spend on his hair? Like, holy crap, this dude, this dude obviously takes some time to make his hair look very nice. Just to come out and be like, huh, did you just miss Beans? Yeah, you know, sometimes I, uh, I kind of have a big fear of bat and emo people. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I relate to the bat part. I don't, I'm not really afraid of emo people. 
I mean, I once had a, I once had a hound, a hound doom with your typing actually, uh, who was quite emo as well. Ah, oh, yes, Bubble Bubble Beam! Yes, Bubble Beam's animation in this game is so cool. They made it look awesome. I love it. All right, Whitaker's learning Bubble Beam. Wonderful. Sending out Type No. All right. This is Gladion's, uh, this is a Gladion specific Pokemon. We're not going to find this um, with any other trainer in the entire game. Type Null is a very unique Pokemon whose story we will uncover much later. Sending in Type Null. Very weird name for a Pokemon, is it not? Now you wonder why I probably, why I sent out Whitaker. Well, Type Null at this stage of the game is a normal type. Uh, because he has no type, I guess. It says he's nulled out or whatever. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a, uh, a, po a super potion on you, Whitaker, because I don't want you to die to Type Null. Type Null's pretty awesome looking. You can see a lot of different Pokemon types represented in his design, which I really like. You can see he's kind of got like a fishtail and a steel sort of head and like whatever color his face is. I don't really know, but he's kind of gray and brown and green, maybe? I don't know. He's he's definitely a nice combination of all the uh, all the Pokemon types, and I think he's gonna beat Whitaker. Don't die, please. Whitaker's like, nope. Here's a middle finger to that. I'm gonna die right now. All right, let's see. Let's see Melee go out. Go beat Type Null, Melee. Oh my God! Of course I'm gonna go beat Type Null. Yay! Yeah. Woo. Hopefully you don't die from tackle. I said, hopefully you don't die from tackle, not die from tackle. Do you not hear what I'm saying? Why do you get killed from every move? Man, Pichu is not a resilient Pokemon at all. Contrarily, we've got, is that a word, contrarily? On the contrary, we've got a Pokemon like Hedge here who, I was gonna say, who can resist a lot of moves, but he almost died to Pursuit, which would have been really bad. But anyway, it took three Pokemon to beat Type Null, but we did it. And it's great. Hedge is leveling up to level 17. We're getting a little closer to daytime Lycanroc, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, nice. Beans growing to 22. Beans is just miles ahead. He's like, uh, How annoying. Wow, Gladion. Can you chill just a little bit? This guy is too much sometimes. Ugh. I like how I made the super effective sound just there. <laughs> it's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. Uh, what? <laughs> that kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling. But this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. <laughs> you know my Gramps? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Oh, uh, look at you, little Gladion, aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> oh, his Team Skull! Throw it down! Get ready, boy! Oh, it's Team Skull! Making a little skull face with their arms, I guess, is what that's supposed to be. I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too. No worries, we got enough backbone to cover for you! Here we come with the one down and you have- Just give it up already. Huh? He's even got his eyes closed. Look at how emo this kid is. You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. Even though I just beat you, they're good Pokemon. Especially my Zubat. I love that thing. We came all this way in for what? What a big bad waste of time. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, Crank that Soldier Boy. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklyn Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying. And this time, we should be flying. Was that a was that a sick rhyme you were trying to do? Listen up, good Gladion. The boss does like you, that's true. But you're just my hired help. Uh, we keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull. Not really, and you'll never be. Got it? You better get it. Don't be pissed about that. Do you see how much buffoons Team Skull is, Gladion? You're better off without them. You and your Hot Topic sweater, whatever you got going on. This guy tries really hard to make his appearance as intimidating as possible. Thanks, Tommy, and Toracat, too. It was a good battle. Um, if Beans, don't forget. Phew, looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm going to take on the trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Take these with you. We're going to beat the island challenge. All right, we got some revives. You know I'm going to need it because my Pichu dies all the time. I don't know how you automatically got a Pikachu. I guess we probably should have stopped to go uh, get some Malasada. But um, there are some trainers. Uh, as I say, I don't know if there's any items around here. There are some trainers around here that I will probably off-screen, but we don't need to do that right now. Apparently, let's just fight a farmer. You know, we haven't fought a farmer in a little bit. Or a, what is he, a breeder? Yeah, Pokemon Breeder Cory. <sighs> okay, uh, sending out, oh, Paris? Okay, we can set Paris on fire. You know that we can set. I was gonna say, do we even have beans out in front? I didn't even remember. 
bees in the trap. Bee bees in the trap. What is that song? Bees, bees in the trap or something like that? I don't know how it would actually go. It's something like that. But you're quad weak to fire, so you can... Uh, okay, it's only poison. Uh, I was gonna say, it better not be paralysis. <laughs> it's like it's only poison, the one that gradually lowers your health. What do you got next for me, Pokemon Breeder, Cory? What do you got next for me? And there also could probably be a Crab Brawler or Spinner Act. Let's just keep them out. There could probably uh, be a Crab Brawler in that uh, pile of berries that's in front of us, which would be pretty funny, I have to say. If we found, like, a... Come on! Does Fire Fang have low accuracy or something? Fire Fang must not be 100 accuracy, and I just assume it is. Wow, dude. I'm getting nailed by poison. Part of me still kind of wishes that Torakad and his evolution were fire and poison, but then that would kind of outclass the Water Starter, who I love so very, very, very much. The evolution of, uh, evolution of... Uh, Poplio being Prima, Primarina. God, I love that Pokemon. Is there- There- There's a third one! What kind of luck? We found three Crab Brawlers! Holy crap! Holy Crab Brawler! That's a th third Crab Brawler! I- In- In Moon, I only found- Is it because it's daytime or something? In Moon, I only found one Crab Brawler. So far, like, I'll go by and look at the other- The berry things that sometimes come back. And I, and I still have only found one. This is three on camera, and we have one of them. What the heck? He's calling for help. Is he going to summon another crab brawler? What is the... Oh, I was going to say, what is the deal with these crab brawlers just showing up and kicking our butts? And I need to go to the Pokemon Center, which is right nearby, because Pichu is dead. And so is uh, Hedge, I think. Because freaking everybody wipe my... Wipe, Pichu gets wiped out in one hit just all the time. Just all the freaking time, and I just want to pick up these berries and not have to fight a crab brawler every- We fight a crab brawler every time I get berries! That's insane! It's every single time! Alright, we got a Rost berry. Um, nice. So I hope I don't trigger the cutscene. I just want to- Okay. So I know it's pretty close to there. I just want to come over here and heal our Pokemon because holy crap! We get whomped all the time. We got some revives, so we should be good. Though I'm probably going to stop by to grab some, uh... Grab some of the uh, super potions from the store over here. I don't think... Does anybody else have, like, a side mission? Do you? I don't know if you do. I have about... Oh, yeah, this Pokemon is perfect for Brooklet Hill. Please trade it for your Lillipup. Well, I don't have a Lillipup. Bounsweet is one of the... In my opinion, I don't know if this is supported by anybody else, but the evolution of Bounsweet is one of the great... Is one of the best Pokemon I have come across in years. That Pokemon, like... It's the str I actually used this Pokemon in my Moon Team traded um, the Bounceweed's evolution. It has a it's nicknamed Bouncy or whatever, so I just always call it Bouncy. Um, it evolves into oh we've got a double battle. Let's end the episode off with a double battle before we go into Brooklyn Hill. Um, should we do melee and hedge again? I feel like we should. This is the Dream Team who needs XP. Let's do it. Double battle time. Double battle time. Double battle crime. Well, we're not. Committing any crimes, so never mind. I don't know what. I well, man, I'm just like throwing the rhymes out right now. Did you hear that? Like double. We're not doing a crime, so never mind. That's what happens when you hang out with Team Skull and Gladion. Gladion secretly wants to become like the world's greatest rapper or something. I can tell. Oh man, Hedge is gonna sweep this one, and I think Rock Throw. No, does it hit both? Or Rock Slide hits both? Or Rock Throw hits both? No, it only hits one. I was gonna say. Oh man, Pichu's gonna sweep this too. That's exciting. We'll go after Volby. We haven't seen Volby yet. So, uh, why does Thundershock do no damage? I know it's a weak move, but holy gosh, diggity dang! All right, cool. My defense fell. Great, and you're using Leer as well. Hopefully, you won't miss this time. Hedge, come on! Everybody misses so much, and that was the gnarliest voice crack I've ever done in my entire life. It was like. Come on! Alright. Come on. Don't miss. Thank you, Hedge. This can do so much. These guys are tanky as crap. What the heck, man? Or we're just too low or something? But anyway, but uh, definitely between um, the next episode, uh, between this episode and the next one, I'm going to off-screen the trainers that we haven't fought on this route. Um, because there's not a lot of new stuff that they kind of bring into the, they bring into the game, into the rap game. Um, so come on. What? 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 Okay. 
What? 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 There's some Macklemore going on right there. You beat your Rufflet. Yeah, I still... Oh, no. Ducklet is the one I don't like. I was gonna say, I still have... Still have opinions on Rufflet, but Ducklet is the one I don't like from Gates to Infinity. Ducklet, Ruff... Uh oh Someone's gonna die from this. Oh, my God. Why does it do so much? Don't hit me for five. Stop. Please. Why? Oh, my God. Why does this keep happening? Holy crap! Pichu is just the unluckiest Pokemon. This is what I get for starting off the episode the way I did, man. That's what I get. Holy gosh dang. Oh, that's gonna do nothing. Don't know why I chose to do Brick Break. Whatever. Mm, head just keeps missing. Whatever, we won. Gosh dang it, Melee. Just dang it, dude. And Rio, Rio's just shooting up there, man. Great, combos are difficult. Shut your mouth! Oh my gosh, dude. That's insane. Ah, so I'm gonna heal up melee. We're gonna off-screen some of the trainers. Probably um, go train in the grass a little bit because apparently I need it. And then in the next episode, guys, we'll be heading in to Brooklyn Hill for our next trial. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.